Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a different uh, type video. Uh, what I uh, received in the mail, um, I guess a couple of weeks ago, uh, was a package from Rivet uh, Gardener. Um, I'm sure you've seen his uh, channel, at least most of you. Uh, he does pretty neat stuff. He uh, does some uh, good c cooking videos, and I don't mean just like basic cooking. He just goes crazy. He adds all kinds of different stuff that he makes and it just looks fantastic. I, I wish uh, you know I could taste some of these things he's making. Just, you know, looks great. He also does uh, gardening videos. Uh, those are actually very good too. Um, you know, really good insights. Uh, very straight shooter. You know, not trying to sound like a, a know-it-all. Really great. I really enjoy those too. Um, yeah, so anyways, he uh, sent me this uh, package of uh, his uh, barbecue uh, rub. Um, he sent this from uh, Springfield, Missouri. Oh yeah, I'm, I've been to Missouri. Pretty cool. Um, in St. Louis once, so it's not bad. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to open this up and see what we got. Oh, I can, I can like smell it like the minute I open it. You know, and, and he even has it like double bagged inside. That's pretty strong stuff. Wow, looks neat. It says right here, Rivet's Zesty Poultry Rub. A spicy blend of flavors guaranteed to make your chicken dance. Top secret mix of herbs and spices that include devil peppers, wasabi, paprika, with a kiss of turbinado sugar for deliciousness. Wow, you know, this is amazing, you know, this is uh, probably the most unique, you know, rub I will have ever uh, tried, so I really am excited to uh, to try it, it just, it's, it's double ziplocked and I, I can smell it. Oh, wow, that would wake you up in the morning. It, it's like a, a little bit of a sweet but definite like a spice, uh, ooh, strong uh, spiciness to it. Hmm. It just, yeah, that that smells like it would go perfect with uh, chicken, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, uh, rub down some uh, chicken breasts that I bought, and uh, let them uh, set for a while, and then I'm going to uh, barbecue them. Should be great. Thank you very much, uh, Rivet, and uh, I'll uh, post his um, um, link to his channel uh, right below this video, so you can uh, check out some of his uh, awesome videos. I'm actually going to um, take a little tasting of this before I uh, start using it, Just out of curiosity. It smells so great. I'm going to mix it up a little, just in case none of it settled. There we go. Mmm. That's really good. I could like eat that. Like as a snack. It's tasty. I mean it's not like crazy overwhelming spice um, like some uh, rubs you get. It's actually like really nice flavors that go together with, you know, a bit of uh, spiciness um, as well. Mmm. I like that. I'm trying to think what else I could use this for. Mmm. Definitely not disappointed with these ones. Good job on this one, Rivet. So now I'm going to uh, take the chicken out. Um, of the packaging. Um, I just uh, cut two um, premium uh, chicken breasts from the grocery store. But I figured I'd keep it simple. There is a breast. I'll keep it simple for um, this first time and then maybe uh, after I've had an experience with it I'll uh, maybe do something a little more uh, fancy uh, next time. So I'm going to put it in a bowl first. Uh, 
Yeah, so uh, it's important to uh, first um, pour out your uh, rub mixture and then uh, you'll be able to, from there, uh, mix it up. Um, it's usually uh, pretty um, advisable to do this just so you can keep uh, the consistency good. Um, you know, especially, you know, things settle to the bottom, stuff like that. So I'm just going to mix it up just quickly. Um, it's my first time using this rub, so I'm not even sure exactly uh, a good amount to use. But uh, this should be a little more than enough. Than enough. So you just take out the uh, breasts. I'll put this one in. Now I'm just going to uh, work on this one. Just basically, it's like when you uh, batter something, except the uh, rub doesn't quite stick like batter. So you really gotta, you know, move it around. Um, sometimes press a little bit of the uh, powder um, up to the flesh and uh, just get it in. Uh, this one's going in pretty well. It looks almost done. Just trying to get every last bit of it covered completely. I think we're done. That's uh, one done. Now I'm just going to do the same thing with the uh, next one. You can really tell the contrast between the one I just uh, rubbed and uh, the second one I just pulled out. It really does give it a, a nice kind of a, a tinge of uh, color. Looks nice. Now uh, the second one's done, and that's pretty much it. It uh, doesn't take a lot of work. And I'm going to take a little bit of the extra um, rub that you know I didn't rub in, and just putting it uh, on top with the spoon, you know, always helps. Now I'm just going to take some um, saran wrap type thing and uh, cover it up. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, put it in the fridge uh, overnight and uh, just let it sort of marinate a bit, you know, soak in, and then uh, I'll be barbecuing it tomorrow morning. So it's uh, December 22nd. Uh, yesterday was, uh, you know, supposed to be the end of the world, December 21st. Uh, looks like the world didn't end, but uh, fall sure did. So here I am, uh, my barbecue, my uh, chicken that I just had uh, overnight from with uh, Rivet's rub that I'm going to try out. So I'm going to put the two breasts on. Okay. Yeah, and we got lots of snow um, overnight. And uh, yeah, here in Canada, we barbecue all year, all year round. It's just the way we roll. So since this is a rub, um, I'm going to do this in a way that I only need to flip these once. Uh, the trick I do here, see how these are pointed sort of like towards 2 o'clock? Um, now I'm just going to turn them to like 4 o'clock. And then after that I just flip them once and then I'll do the same. And uh, that way you end up with a nice roll marks on uh, both sides and you've only flipped it once and you haven't lost much rub. Okay, and I think we're done. Uh, 
That looks good. Now let's see what it tastes like. Wow. That tastes amazing. Mmm. It makes like a smoky type flavor. With a little bit of a spice aftertaste. A bit of kick. That's nice. It, it smells like this was smoked. Like, really gives it a nice flavor. I really love it. I'm very uh, glad that, uh, you know, Rivet was nice enough to send me this. Um, and yeah, I give this a total thumbs up. This is fantastic. Anyways, hope you uh, enjoyed the video and, uh, you know, I hope one, some of you are uh, lucky enough to try this sometime.